I was going to do this as a written blog, but then I thought, no, I'll do it as a video blog, it'll annoy them more. Okay, you see how my voice is like, sounds really deep and croaky to you at the moment, not pipsqueak. I'm pipsqueak, I sing like how I mean it normally are. I'm a pipsqueak to my whole entire kind, and Shaker's kind. Shaker's a pipsqueak to his whole entire kind. Not my kind, and not me. Because I'm something called, something pale, something dyed more ivory. Anyway, um, that's because my voice is being played real time on some other device or video recording thing real time into solar, and my voice goes hits floor level of open occupied space, maybe 435, maybe 55 degrees Celsius around there. Um, yeah, I just wanted to point that out. That's out. But what do you know about weird video distortions and your big problem? It's an indoor event! The Meridian Ride's an indoor event! No, it's the Meridian Ride's the other two ones as well! Things like it that you don't know anything about. And it's an indoor event because I'm sitting in this building, in this very room, about... I was thinking... Somewhere, about in the centre where the light globe is, in the very centre there, uh, there is every single Meridian, Gravity Meridian, every galaxy and system of space and versal all combined in the very center of this room so there are sparkles and all sorts of things and the other two things because there's this building wasn't built on Earth, but part of the Earth system was built in Frank and Delilah's time by myself and it contains two extra bowl cads which is this is the last time it'll ever exist because it totally decayed after this and the building last time it'll exist because um, you get these like ship hermits that do this Meridian Ram ride and sometimes destroy large areas of space and stuff over it. Down the meridian to get to the next layer or some other new versal base that's forming sometimes and this happens anyway. And anyway, they've been forced for an indoor event where there's like a Bantu and a kitchen and a TV and people, you know. And I've done this to it quite a few times with this building thing because this, thing sits, this building sits like a big elastic band. Around um, around the entire meridian system at the time with those two unknown substances, which are two things you test and always come up as unknown substances. Then you make building things that were shipped in, and Frank Delire from even another kingdom provided the building, the space for me yet again, the same again after doing it the first time. Uh, that I paid for entirely. Go on this building here that I'm sitting in right now sits like a big elastic band. This is the sort of quality of house you can get if you're a science. Like a big elastic band um, around all the meridians. And whenever they go to the convergent point, it always folds the galaxy in all the way down to this one building. Which is also that effect you see, like the meniscus from it. That all that effect of all those galaxies rushing away from us. Really, like I told you, the meniscus because of this one building. That's all it is. If you try to go, you sloop up on it. Yeah, that's about it. Or it takes a while to come in. Visually, only if you check on radio telescopes.